Whenever you are debugging C or C++ code in C-Line, you can also explore the underlying assembly code. In previous versions of C-Line, you could only look at the assembly if the source code was not available, but starting from C-Line 2023.1, this limitation has been removed. To open the disassembly view, right-click onto a frame in the debugger tab and select disassemble. You can also select the frame and then type Ctrl D on Windows or Linux or Command D on a Mac. This opens the new disassembly view side by side with your source code and highlights the execution line in both. You can now step through the assembly instructions. Note that the stepping now steps through individual instructions, not lines of C++ code. You can switch between the code and the assembly at any time. And both views follow each other while debugging. When you switch frames in the debugger tab, both the code editor and the disassembly view will scroll to the relevant execution point. You can also change the current execution point by dragging the arrow that appears next to the current instruction. You can set breakpoints in disassembly in the same way you do in source code and use all the other debugger features as usual. You can use the go to field at the top to jump to another code line. Just enter an address or an expression that evaluates to an address. Disassemble on demand works for both Intel and ARM assembly, and it also works when using remote debugging, for example, for embedded development. If you don't have C-Line yet, but you'd like to check it out, you can download a 30-day free trial on jetbrains.com/cline and give it a try. Thanks for watching.